Hi, I'm Adriana and I'm currently doing a university series. I'm going into my third year and I thought it would be helpful for some of you to share some of my experiences so far at University of West London. So if you're interested to hearing more stuff about student life in London and just see my whole university series, I'm gonna leave a card somewhere here, I think it's gonna be there, with the whole series where you can click on it. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it a lot, it helps me a lot and that way you can keep up with all my new videos. I am studying Advertising and Public Relations at University of West London, which is located in Ealing, West London, as the name itself suggests. It is one of the top 50 universities in the whole of UK and number one modern university in London. It is number one in London for student satisfaction as well, so it has quite a lot of achievements, but are they true or not? So my opinion on University of West London. As I said, I'm going into my third year of studying advertising and PR, so I have no knowledge about any other courses. But I have to say that when it comes to my course, I think it's one of the best in the whole country. And of course, there were modules that I liked and there were modules that I hated, but that's because we are all different and we all have different expectations and different requirements from a course. But I can totally say that all of them, even the ones that I love, even the ones that I hated, they all played a major part in who I am today and who I am as a creative professional. As for my course, the first year was a big change for me. I came from a very strict and rigid environment in Romania and I came here to UWL where there were all these friendly and approachable teachers and stuff everywhere. So I had to sort of learn how to let my guard down and not censor myself and just express myself the way that I really am without fearing that the teachers might judge me or might grade me down because they don't like my personality. I totally love UWL and I wouldn't go anywhere else. I wouldn't have gone anywhere else. I was accepted at other four universities as well, so all my five applications were, were actually accepted, but I choose University of West London and I have to say that speaking to people who are studying similar courses and are pursuing similar degrees at different universities and hearing stories from my teacher where people tried to transfer into our course from different universities I think it was the best decision and I believe it is the right path for me we are one of the few universities in London and probably in the UK as well that has very small classes. So our year, we are actually just 15 people. So you get a very tailored experience and the teacher has time to pay attention to you and monitor whatever you are doing throughout the whole three years. Before talking exactly about what I like about the uni and the perks it offers, I have to say that one of the things that I love the most about my course is my course leader and I won't go into much detail about this because if you don't uh, study my course or if you choose any other university you won't have the chance to meet her. She has so much knowledge and experience when it comes to the industry and what I like the most about her is that no matter what challenge you throw her way she's always ready to tackle it. I believe that every individual who will have a lecture with her will be definitely lucky and grateful. So if you decided to study at NPR and you're torn in between courses, I would recommend this one just because of our course leader that is putting her soul on the table and it's aiming to provide the best experience for you as a student and as a future professional in this industry. Another thing that I love about my uni is the fact that we get to work on live briefs. So we work with, with real clients on ongoing briefs and that is an experience in itself. Because when you finish university, you can say that you've done all these briefs, you can show them to potential employers and you can say that you've got real experience under your belt. And that's important because when you go out of university, you don't want to go to another internship where you have to learn things that you could have learned really in university. So that I think is extremely important. We've had to work with various clients, so we had to adapt to their needs and we always had to provide a perfect 
and product because they, they didn't care that we are students. For them, we were just people who were hired to come up with, with an idea and with a strategy and do a perfect execution and that's what we aimed to do all the time. So now I'm gonna go a bit into what exactly UWL offers. This seems like I am advertising my university but I'm just sharing my opinion and these are just genuinely the fact that I liked the most and that I used because I'm sure there are a lot of bad things as well but I just think for me all the minor bad things are just that, very minor. So my experience as a whole is extremely nice and I, that's why I would recommend it to you guys. I only know at NPR and I know that is one of the best so that's why I'm gonna tell you what the uni overall provides just in case you, you want to look into my university but you want to go for another course. So it has a free shuttle bus that goes between campuses because there is one campus in Ealing and there is the student halls and by the way if you're interested in student halls I have a video that I made about uh, student halls versus private accommodation so if you'd like to check it out I'll leave a card here. There is a free shuttle bus that runs in between the primary campus which is in Ealing Broadway and the student accommodation and the other campus that it's for nursing and business I believe that is in Brentford so again it's free and if you decide to live in student halls or if you just live within that radius and you'd like to take advantage of a free shuttle bus then I think it's amazing free printing services and for me that is a huge huge one because I cannot say how much money I actually spent by printing stuff at uni. I had hundreds of pages that I needed for myself and I saved so much money because I wanted to print something in lockdown where the campus was closed so I had to print it outside and there was one pound per page and I had to print like seven pages so it was like seven pounds, seven pounds that I could have used for something entirely different and something that was much more useful to me and seven pounds is a lot of money for seven pieces of paper but I mean yeah you can find cheaper ones but in this surrounding area where I live it's only one pound per page or I guess the, the cheapest one is 50p per page but again it's not open 24 7 where apart from my uni that I can go to 24 7 print something come back in 30 minutes and I only pay the bus fare both ways so I mean that's a huge thing for me I, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm gonna finish uni I'll probably end up buying a printer because I really want to be able to print at any hour and not have to pay one pound per page so if you're like me then I'm sure you'll appreciate this free printing services that does both black and white and color as well it also has a gym but I'm not using it because I'm going to the gym that my boyfriend goes as well and he's not a student so I don't think he can use that one it's a small gym but it has everything you might want from a gym and again if you live in halls or if you just live within that area of the free shuttle bus I believe you can save a lot of money by going there it's one of the cheapest prices in that area and again it has a lot of perks it's near uni, you can take a bus or you can walk if you're walking distance and you can also meet people there so if that's what you're after then I think you might take advantage of this gym it has a super cool library first of all it's huge it's based on three floors and it's split like that so the first floor is the group project floor so you can basically go there and speak as loud as you can you can meet with your friends you can meet with, with, with people you can use the TVs because they have HDMI sets you can connect your laptop and you can basically just do, do your thing and prepare for upcoming presentations or whatever you want then we have the second floor that is more of the quiet but not totally quiet floor so basically you can whisper, you can eat cold food and basically you can do everything you want but do it in a way that respects the others and then we have the third floor which if you're after a very focused learning session that's where you should go because it's where there's total silence it's a silence floor and it's the floor where I'm usually anxious when I'm preparing to study and I'm unpacking my things and you can just hear basic things like my zipper or me just unpacking things and putting them on the table 
and I'm so aware of all these minor sounds because it's so quiet in there. No one's speaking and whenever someone is speaking, you give them that look that this is the third floor and they get you. That's the floor where I'm focusing the most and if you're gonna go there, you have to be in total silence. So that may not be for you, which is why the second floor is sort of in between the two. And there are also a ton of books available. I cannot wait to go back and get my books from there because this summer, yes, I've been browsing the online catalog which has so many things and so many articles and research papers and all of that that you can find in a physical library. But I miss that browsing feeling because I used to go to my Add in PR section and just look around and see what interests me and what I might need for a project or an essay or something like that. And it would be just easy to go and pick up a few books and then return them. Mac PCs. So for a creative, using and knowing how to use a Mac is sort of crucial. Uh, yes, you can get along with a Windows PC as well, but most of the programs that I was taught how to use were on Macs. And when I first started uni, I was looking at this huge big Mac screen and I didn't even know how to open it. And now, two years after I own a Mac laptop, I am... I'm not a pro, I couldn't say that I'm a pro, but I know how to use a Mac computer and softwares. And softwares like InDesign or Adobe Creative Cloud that I'm using at the moment. And even though I'm not the best at using them, I got to learn them because they were free through my university. On all of the Macs in the universities, you're gonna find all these paid products and you can basically just connect your account and you're in that system. And it's amazing, they offer so many digital perks as well. So databases like Mintel or Warp, which people in my industry pay a lot of money for. And I have them for free. And I, I need to appreciate them more because I have them for one more year and then I'll have to pay upwards of a thousand pounds just to access an article, which I definitely won't do. But that's how the big agencies do. And I get this information for free. There's also a lot of cafes and places to eat. So within our university, we have a Starbucks, we have a student cafe, we have the big cantina where there's always a lot of variety for food. So if you're vegetarian or vegan, or if you like a lot of meat, you can find everything there. There's always something for you. And yes, it might not be the best food, but comparing to London prices, it is cheap and it is made right there for you. And they also opened a restaurant, a proper restaurant that is a bit more expensive than the food stalls that we have in the uni, but compared again to a normal restaurant in London, it's extremely cheap. And we wanted to go there before lockdown, but lockdown came, so we didn't have the chance, but we will definitely go there once it reopens and hopefully it's gonna reopen the restaurant as well. And these are the main things that made me have this great opinion on University of West London. Do I recommend it? A hundred percent. I think it is the best uni for my course, but would I recommend it for other courses as well? Yes and no. I would because I know that there are a lot of uh, special classes for students like aviation. We have the fake airplane that you can pilot or law. We have the mock uh, court room. So I know there are things for other courses as well, but I do not know the needs and the requirements of students that might want to go to law school or aviation courses. I'm just gonna say that I recommend my course 100% and I recommend the uni as a whole because I believe that whatever your story is, they will also try to cater to you and help you. And of course, we have the student facilities, so we have the financial team, the uh, well-being team, we have all these teams, but I believe this is what every university has or at least should have and it's not the thing that attracted me to UWL in the first place. However, I only know what an ad PR student would want and I can definitely say that it caters to it. And if you would like to be a creative professional in the future, I definitely recommend University of West London to you. That was my video for today. I definitely recommend to you guys that if you decide to look into UWL more uh, you go to one of their virtual tours because I believe all of them are virtual now and just seek more information there. But of course, if you have any other questions, 
leave them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer for you. And if I can't, I'll look into it and I'll do a little bit more research to make sure that you are directed to the right person that you can talk to. And I hope this video helped you get more information on my university and my opinion of it. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot and subscribe to see the whole uh, rest of the university series that is happening in August and September. August is almost done. So September, here we are. I am prepared for it with a lot of informational videos and hopefully they will help you in your journey with university in London or just university in general. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!